Hello, how you doing? Uh, our talking point for this morning is about the character of God. And the point is God the one who pulls me out of deep waters. It is taken from Psalm 1816, which is, which is an exciting passage. And really, this is the New Testament. Uh, it's exciting. God is the author of this passage, even though it was written by David. Uh, God shows himself active. He doesn't sit up in heaven and objectively look at us. He seeks us out. He finds us in our trouble, and he takes us in his hand. Now, uh, I want to go to the passage, and I've chosen the French translation. Uh, and both the German and the Italian agree with this translation, and it's more with the actual text itself. So let me read it to you. He extends his hand, he seizes me, and pulls me from deep waters. Now, the German actually adds that he holds me fast. Now, when I was a, a scout lifeguard on Catalina Island at summer camp, um, we were taught when we went into the water and we grabbed a hold of someone, you had to hold them tight. Otherwise, the guy would drown you. He'd actually climb up on your head, stand on your head trying to get out of the water. So you had to hold on fast. Now listen, God holds us tight. Nobody can touch you when you're in the hand of God. Now our thing is that we need to remain in God's hand. Now look at what Jesus said in John chapter 17. He said, uh, I have not lost one of those that you gave to me. Uh, I have kept them safe. I have not lost one except the son of perdition. Jesus said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. God is after you. And he says, I got you. Stay in his hand. Now, as we look at this passage, we have to understand what it means by Deep waters. Now, deep waters, deep waters uh, are translated this way. Calamity, confusion, empty places, abyss, waste places. Have you been there in the last year? Are you there now? God is coming for you. Get in his hand. Now there is a companion passage, and I think this is very appropriate. And it reads, uh, it reads like this. This is from Isaiah 43, verse uh, 2. Do not be afraid, for I have rans ransomed you. I have called you by my name, and you are mine. And when you go through deep waters and great trouble... I will be with you, and when you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you, for I am your Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Let us pray. Father, I thank you. You are the God who reaches down from heaven and grabs us. You will not let us go. You will not abort uh, us in our situation. And you will pull us out of it. We trust ourselves and our loved ones into your mighty hand today. Oh, blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.